What's up y'all? We're going to be talking about three things you need to do right now to save a lot of money in your business. Check it out. What's up y'all? My name is Saluto Uba and I'm the founder of the Uba Law Group. We're a law firm that makes the tax and legal side of business easy to understand so you're not scared out of pursuing your dream. And today we're going to talk about three things that you need to be doing right now to save money in your business. And I'm talking about real money every single year. So if you know anybody that could use this information, please feel free to share this video with them and hit that like and subscribe button while you're at it. We really appreciate it. So the first thing that you need to do to save money in your business right now is to understand section 162A of the Internal Revenue Code. Now this is known as the ordinary and necessary portion of the tax code, and it's really the basis of most tax deductions. And what says, paraphrase, is that you can get deductions in your business for things that are ordinary and necessary for the conducting of your business. So what does that mean? Ordinary means things that people who are in your business doing what you do at the level that you do it, they take these types of deductions and they have these types of expenses. And necessary means that this is something that you use to conduct your business in a reasonable manner. So the ordinary necessary clause is extremely helpful because it gives you a guideline of what you can deduct. Oftentimes when I'm meeting with clients in all sorts of industries, I see that they're scared and they're intimidated to take deductions that they're rightfully owed because they don't understand the tax code. They're afraid that they're gonna get hit with an audit if they take a home office or if they write off their car, they think the IRS is gonna come after them. So if you do things properly and if you do them in the right order and if you document these things, you should have no fear taking tax deductions and there's thousands of dollars that are waiting on you to take every single year. So don't be afraid of the tax code. Understand that section 162A does allow you to take deductions for things that are ordinary and necessary in the conducting of your business. Now the second strategy that you need to implement in your business right now is the S Corp. The S Corp stands for S Corporation and what this does is that it saves you massive amounts of money on self-employment tax now and every year into the future. So basically when you're a self-employed person, every dollar that you make, you have to pay your regular federal income taxes. And if you're in a state with state income tax, you gotta pay that too. But on top of all of that, you also have to pay self-employment tax as a self-employed person. So self-employment tax is approximately 15%. So on top of all those other taxes that you have to pay, you have to pay an additional 15% in self-employment tax. So the beauty of the S Corporation is that S Corp allows you to put yourself on salary and now you only have to pay that extra 15% out of your salary. The rest of your money doesn't have to pay that. Now it might not sound like a lot, but this adds up massively. We've had clients that have saved over $10,000 in one year using the S Corporation. And the beauty of this strategy is that you can do it every single year after that. So if you meet the criteria, you need to make sure that you're taking advantage of the S Corporation right away. Now, what is that criteria, you might ask? So the S Corporation is great and you save all that money like we talked about, but it's not a get out of tax free card. There are certain requirements that come along with the S Corporation. I mentioned that you're gonna be putting yourself on payroll. So there are a lot of accounting requirements and a lot of uh, admin that goes along with it. You're gonna to have to have proper bookkeeping. You're gonna be giving yourself W-2s and pay stubs. You're gonna have uh, tax deposits at the state level potentially. You're gonna have 941 quarterly tax reports. You're gonna have an 1120S tax return at the end of the year, which is a separate tax return that you're gonna to have to file in addition to your personal tax return. So all that stuff comes into play and all those things have costs associated with them. So we tell folks, don't jump into an S corporation if the taxes that you're gonna save from the S corp are less than the money that you're gonna to have to pay in all these accounting and admin fees. So in, in our estimation from clients that we've worked with, we've seen that number is typically about $40,000 in profit. If you're making 40K in profit, then it'll typically make sense to become an S corp. But if you're not at that level yet, you probably don't wanna hop into there because you're probably gonna be spending more money than you will be saving. So that's tip number two, very powerful tool. And if you qualify, you wanna hop on that right away. Now, last but not least, tip number three is a very important one that you need to implement. And this mostly involves a mindset around business and tax deductions and tax strategy and, and all that stuff. Now, one of the pitfalls that we see a lot of clients make is that they're afraid to take tax deductions that they're entitled to. But on the other side of that, one of the pitfalls that we see people make is that they try to stretch themselves and, and do things that aren't beneficial to their business just to get a write-off. 
So sometimes people will purchase things that they don't really plan on using just because it's the type of thing that they can purchase. Or they'll you know, buy a super expensive car that wasn't really in their budget and that they didn't need just so that they can get a tax write off on the vehicle because they think the section 179 deduction is the best thing ever and it's gonna solve all their problems. In reality, it's not. These deductions, they are tools in a toolkit. They're strategies to use, but the biggest thing about tax strategy is that it has to make sense for your business. Your tax strategy must serve your business in order for it to be helpful. If it doesn't, you're just running your gears and you're just wasting time trying to save money that really isn't gonna give you a benefit. So understand that your business and your tax strategy is designed to benefit your life. So don't go chasing, don't go doing anything out of the ordinary, don't go taking expenses that you wouldn't normally do in your business just to get a tax deduction because most of the time it's gonna end up costing you money instead of saving you money. All right, so that's it right there. Those are the top three things that you need to do right now in your business to save money. I hope those strategies are helpful. I hope you can begin to implement them. But if you have more questions or if you wanna figure out how you can create a personalized plan to do this in your business, please feel free to reach out to us. We do this for clients all across the country every single day. We'd be more than happy to help you. And once again, if you know anybody that can use this video, please feel free to share it with them and we really appreciate it. All right, y'all. Until next time, keep on grinding, keep on hustling. I believe in y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.